Let's cut across now to our colleague Ronajoy Banerjee, who has the Air Asia India CEO Amar Abrol with him on the new civil aviation policy. Mr. Abrol, of course, is the biggest beneficiary. And by the new CEO of AirAsia, Mr. Abrol, the CEO designate of AirAsia, uh, Mr. Abrol, thank you very much for joining us here on CNBC TV 18. Give us your first reaction because 5 by 20 was, of course, a very contentious issue. Do you think it has been satisfactorily uh, sort of dealt with by the government, considering that they have reached some sort of a middle ground, it seems? So I think uh, 520 was contentious. Uh, 020 is more than welcome. Uh -huh. I think it's a very progressive uh, step in opening up the Indian skies. Uh, we welcome the policy. I would say, however, that uh, uh, zero, 00 or a zero 010 would have been more than welcome. Mm -hmm. We will continue to uh, work with the government to, uh, to push towards that. But we will now very aggressively work towards uh, achieving the goal of 20 aircrafts mm -hmm. and getting into international operations uh, as soon as possible. Having said that, it is uh, our strategy, India first strategy. We look forward to connecting India. We look forward to connecting, uh, getting people to fly on our airline. Our tagline is now everybody can fly, and this policy will allow more and more people to fly. So in a sense, AirAsia has preempted this policy. As you said, everybody can fly, and that seems to be the running thread also of the aviation policy to serve the unserved and to connect the unconnected airports. So in that sense, does this in any realistic way make any change? Will, you, will AirAsia be making any change to its business model following the announcement today? So as I said, we will be continuing to uh, look at now aggressively invest to get to 20 aircrafts. Uh, we are prepared uh, to invest in India. I think this is uh, very progressive from that perspective. Uh, at least it gets a clarity of uh, where the norms stand. Um, so once we are clear about the norms, we will invest in that direction and get to there as soon as possible. And when would that be? When would as soon as possible be? As soon as possible would, is dependent on a number of factors. It's dependent How many on, aircrafts uh, do you have right now? So we have six aircrafts right now. And we are now looking at aggressively uh, inducting more aircrafts uh, coming into India as soon as possible. A slew of incentives for airlines to fly into the un uh, lesser connected uh, uh, airports. Do you think that is enough uh, uh, to sort of fly at 2,500 rupees an hour flight on, on one hour flights? So to be honest, uh, there are certain sectors where we already fly less than one hour at less than 2,500 rupees. Um, so we look forward. I need to understand the details. The team needs to sit down and understand the details of... Uh, um, the exact details of the scheme, um, but I think it's a it's a good step forward, and.